Health made quite a few advancements in 2015. From childcare to senior living, this company is reinventing the way Americans view healthcare. In the past five years, net revenue has increased $46,210 million, with over half of this growth being in the past two years. CVS Health has seen an increase in every financial area with predictions of double-digit growth through the next year. In 2015, CVS Health made two of its biggest purchases to date. In May, the company bought senior healthcare company Omnicare for $12.7 billion. This purchase transforms the drugstore chain into a full-service health management company. While the beginning of the year held much excitement, the end of the year did just the same. On December 16, 2015, CVS Corporation and Target Corporation announced CVS Health's full acquisition of Target Pharmacy and Clinical Businesses for $1.9 billion. This merge gives CVS 1,672 pharmacies across 47 states. CVS Pharmacy will be included in all new Target stores that offer pharmaceutical care, and 79 Target clinics will be rebranded as Minute Clinics. In the next three years, CVS Health plans to open 20 new clinics through Target stores. CVS Health also plans to expand Minute Clinic by opening 1,500 new clinics by the end of 2017. In that time, half of all Americans will have a Minute Clinic within 10 miles of their home. As the health industry continues to grow rapidly and people begin to care more about their health, CVS Health is going to be doing nothing but dominating this market. CVS is growing to become a more health-oriented chain. They demonstrated this by removing all tobacco products from their shelves in 2014. There are a few threats on the radar for CVS Health, but the removal of these tobacco products took its toll as over the next year, in-store sales grew grew very weak. Another bump in the road, so to speak, was with the purchase of Omnicare, CVS Health also took on the $2 billion in debt that Omnicare was in and still has to pay this debt off. Though there have been some slowdowns with in-store sales growth, the payment of this debt, and a couple other things, the company has been doing nothing but growing. But what about their employees? CVS Health offers a wide range of job opportunities in many fields. Accounting, beauty, logistics, marketing, pharmacy. There is no doubt that CVS has a strong workforce. However, CVS Health was not on Fortune 500's list of top 100 places for millennials to work in 2014, 2015, and 2016. The LA Times wrote an article stating that the top workers at CVS stores, those being paid the most for their job classifications, are being redlined by the company, making it impossible for these employees to earn raises. However, in corporate jobs, such as senior managers, there seem to be no pay caps, so those managers aren't facing the same uh, difficulties that in-store managers are. There doesn't seem to be much room for growth through this company. CVS Health was also ranked 12th on 24-7's Wall Street's list of top 12 worst companies to work for in the U.S. This list took rankings using data crew website Glassdoor that has rankings of more than 400,000 companies globally. With an average rating of a 2.7 out of 5 and 4,700 ratings, it seems as though employees aren't thrilled to be working for CVS Health. And out of those 4,700 ratings, 40% of those employees said that they did not approve of CVS CEO Larry Merlot. There were complaints of stores being understaffed, employees being overworked, and managers having an unrealistic expectation of their employees. 24-7 Wall Street also noted that while CVS Health is seeing growth financially and economically, their employees aren't seeing growth in themselves. CVS has denied that their company has no room for growth and that their employees are upset. 
Instead, they are stating that they provide a safe and enjoyable work environment. CVS Health has seen growth from a financial standpoint, and there are predictions of continued growth. However, it seems as though the company is not paying close enough attention to the public face of their company, their workers. Are there any questions? All right, thank you.